Hi, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on starting a story with Twine. Uh, Twine is a great little tool for creating interactive uh, fiction, interactive story type, types of little games, and uh, it's just really great. And this is the very first step to creating your own little story with, with Twine. So uh, let's get into it. I've got my browser up here, and I'm going to show you how to, how to open the Twine editor. <laughs> it's really easy. Um, you just go to uh, the website, uh, twinery.org, and then you click Use in your browser. And there you are. You're going to get this little startup screen that uh, says, you know, what, a, <laughs> what Twine is about. Uh, you can skip that. And then here's your page. Uh, pretty easy. If you can't get to this website for any reason, you can use CodeVA's version of this, which is at codeva.curriculum, uh, codeva-curriculum.github.io slash twine and there's the exact same site <laughs> twine is open source which means we can create different versions of it and in here we, we're just creating one that if you can't get to twinery for whatever reason you can just use ours so uh here we go this is what's going to look like when you first open it up uh, we have zero stories but before we create any stories uh you need to select a story format uh, a story format sort of controls like the style of code that you write and all the tutorials I'm making uh, are using the chapbook story format. And if you want to follow the tutorials I'm making, you're going to want to use the same story format as me. So uh, to change your story format, you go to the top, click the twine tab and then click story formats. Here are all these options. You can take a look at these. You can use whichever one you want really, but uh, I'm using chapbook. Uh, so if you're following along with me, I recommend you also use chapbook. Otherwise, the stuff I show you isn't really going to work for you. Uh, so go ahead and highlight chapbook and click use as default format. All right, there we go. Now we can go back and create a story. All you have to do is click new. You can name your story, whatever you want. You can always go back and rename it if you want to. And then uh, after making the new story, you get into the story editor. This tutorial isn't about the story editor. Um, you can follow the link down below to get uh, the next tutorial where we talk about how to create passages. Uh, but for now, it's enough to say like, that's how you make a story, that's it. Uh, you can delete the story by hitting delete and uh, you can make new ones. Uh, one thing that you should note is uh, that your story is saved in your browser, but if you like, update your browser or you clear your browser's like history or cache or whatever, uh, this story will get deleted from your browser. So if you want to like hold on to it permanently, which I recommend that you do, uh, you need to go over to the build tab and select publish to file. Uh, this will download a, uh, an HTML version of your story. Uh, now you can take that HTML file and you can upload it to Google Drive, you can put it in a flash drive, like kind of whatever you want, uh, and it'll be retained permanently for you. Uh, and even if your story gets accidentally deleted, you can always go to library and import, and you can go grab your story and re-upload it, and it'll still be safe. So uh, that's all there is uh, to know about starting a story in Twine. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out via the comments. Uh, there are literally dozens of uh, other tutorials about uh, Twine and uh, all sorts of stuff in this website down below. Um, if you want to learn more about making stuff with Twine, go check it out. Um, and I, I think that's it for us here. Uh, good luck and happy coding.